up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Sha, Sha vs. A Bike Podcast, episode 106. We got two guests in the building today. We got Dora and Daisy, and together they make real talk with Adora and Daisy. What's good? Hey. They got their own podcast. I know y'all saw Adora. She was on our 100 episode, our all female panel and stuff. Uh, we had a good time. Yeah, that was we, a good episode. Yeah, yeah. We, we drunk mimosas, and even though Brittany drank all my drink, all my drink. <laughs> yeah. I ain't get my bottle back at this. <laughs> we, we still in touch to this day. Oh yeah, she we, cool. She we cool. Have some dope women on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She cool people. But uh, how y'all doing? What's going on with y'all on this Sunday afternoon slash morning? Right, <laughs> busy night. Look like y'all. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had an early night. Yeah, what's going on? What, what about you? you, know, you I had? had a ball last night. <laughs> I just... had so much fun. I went out to eat. I seen so many of my homegirls from high school, and yeah. it was just a vibe. Oh, so we should be, we should be lucky was, you came It here. was, <laughs> listen, it, it doesn't matter what I do. My body is programmed to wake up at 8 in the morning, so mm-hmm. I was up. I was, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, that's what's I'm up. I'm still there. Now, we always start every podcast off with a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away and give people flowers instead of, you know, letting them know how dope he or she is while they're mm. still around. We wait to make that long ass Facebook status like, yeah, man, right. Craig was dope or Felicia was nice. And instead of, you know, telling why he still, you know, hear the words and stuff. So, but the person you salute can't be kids, mom, dad, or somebody y'all in a relationship with. It gotta be somebody outside of those, you know what I'm saying, normal answers or whatever. So, y'all got somebody y'all wanna give a salute to? Mm. Damn, can I salute my partner? I mean, yeah, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's my girl. I really want to salute you because, well, it was our idea for the podcast, but it yeah. couldn't happen without you. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Okay, who you salute? I appreciate them flowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this is hard. Um. Yeah, no, because it'd be easy. Like, yeah, I salute my mom. Like, you already yeah, know, right? yeah. I definitely would have came. All the people yeah. who support our podcast mm-hmm. um, because it's been a long time coming. That's real. Yeah, for so, sure. They support us no matter what. No matter what we talking about. Yeah. You know. Well, sure. I had 106 episodes. I ain't got nobody to salute. I'm a, uh, <laughs> man, who can I salute, bro? I guess I salute people on that, uh, that's, that's coming up with a podcast right now. It's 2022. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you waiting or you know what I'm saying? If you feel like, you you nervous about it? Just do this shit. If it, it might be trash. My first couple episodes probably was trash to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Our, our very first episode, we was intoxicated. We was nervous. <laughs> like, we was like... It was like... It was a lot. We was drunk. It was good, though. It was good. It turned out good, but yeah. I was just so nervous. I'm like, who want to watch me? Because yeah, no, for sure. prior to me starting the podcast, I um, didn't ever talk to the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so y'all were drunk them up, huh, that first episode? First two. <laughs> yeah, y'all still. I see y'all be drinking a little, you know, wine here and there, or whatever. Yeah, that's a black owned mm-hmm. uh, wine that we uh, drink. My my two vegan. Mm-hmm. Um, they got champagne and they have wine, and yeah. they're both really, really good. Like I said, it's black owned. Mm-hmm. Um, really good. Yeah, yeah. Cause I had to stop drinking. Cause I was saying some wild stuff on here. You know, afterwards he had to edit, <laughs> cut some stuff out. I might have said some crazy stuff that I shouldn't have said. So, yeah. yeah. My drinking days on the show, it ain't over, but <laughs> it's limited. Yeah, yeah. yeah for a sure. little buzz. Going. A little buzz. It's, yeah. it's cool. I, I think the um, conversation, a lot of the truth come out when you're drinking stuff. For sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> it, it's, I think it works. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the truth can be bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Do y'all, have y'all ever had time that y'all had to edit something that y'all said? Yes. <laughs> it was um, like, not me. <laughs> Um, it I was, said what I said. It was, it was, <laughs> it was the le- like a couple episodes we recorded along like a couple weeks ago, but mm-hmm. it wasn't what I said. I just know that it could have harmed me in the long run. Like, yeah, for sure. You know, when you got an image or stuff mm-hmm. like this, you do have to watch what you say and how you say it. Yeah. Because they literally would try to slander your name, mm-hmm. like sure. just from one wrong word. Like, yeah. and it might necessarily be wrong. It could possibly be some truth in it. Mm-hmm. But it's still like a way you gotta present, you know, present yeah. yourself to be successful. Fast, fast, yeah. Because I ain't said some things that uh, we if we ever get big, we gotta go ahead and take that joke off the air. There, man. <laughs> you know, I you know, I I just had questions about you know people who like the same sex, but. People might take it the wrong way because of how I was oh, talking about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, because <laughs> you know, they'll dig it up and just make you look bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, yeah, delete that shit when we when we make it big, dog. <laughs> now, uh, it's uh the second month, 2022, you know what I'm saying? Last year, though, 2021, how was it for y'all? Did y'all have some ups, some downs, some good, some bad? Like, how was y'all 2021? My mm. 2021 was rocky. Mm-hmm. Um, 
when we started the podcast, I didn't expect for it to take off as fast as it was. So, mm-hmm. like, I thought this was, like, a trial and error run where we would drop an episode maybe, like, once a month. Yeah. But, like, we dropped our first couple of episodes, and people just kept writing us, like, we need to see when y'all dropping it. Like, it was just, it just became, like, overwhelming, like. For sure. Because I was trying to do something else, too. Mm-hmm. And I'm in school, but, I mean, I made it happen. Yeah, yeah Like, for sure. we had to, like, record late. I had to get right back up a couple hours later. So, mm-hmm. besides that, I learned a lot of lessons last year. So, I wouldn't say it was a bad year for me. Yeah. It was a, It was my year of preparation, because this year. Yeah. It's off. Everything else, yeah, hell yeah. But what was some of those, before we get to Daisy, what were some of those Rocky moments? What were some of those those moments like, like, God damn, man, for real? When I felt way too overwhelmed and I didn't want to get out the bed. No, okay. Because I didn't know, like, what do, so much had to be done mm. that I just didn't know where to start. For but sure. But that helped me work on my time management skills. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, most definitely. What about you, Daisy? What, what was that, that year looking like? Oh, 2021 was um long <laughs> it was fucking long i had a lot i still have a lot going on sure. um i learned to be a little more disciplined mm. last year it's so much that needs to be done i'm i'm learning to focus on like what's most important yeah 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 for sure um it was a lot for me last year. Last year was definitely just a lot. I yeah. don't. It like it like y'all bash each other out because like you like the calm one. You like yeah, shit, turn up like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm kind of both actually. It depends on what day you catch. It, it do. Okay. It really do. Yeah. It really but do. we do balance each other. So if she the high one, I'm low, and it, it or it's opposite. If it's I'm never kind of not like that. Right now? It's like, no. <laughs> I mean, I like if, she, if, she, if she like hot, then I'm like the calm one. And yeah. If I'm hot, she the calm one. So. Mm-hmm. But that that works. We out, definitely though. do balance each other. Yeah, I don't feel like we ever really the same. For sure, cause I was saying that to I was saying that to Ma when he was on there, him and uh, Spank. Oh yeah. I'm like they balance each other because you got you know dude kind of good whatever yeah, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying. He got that hood side. And you got the philosopher over there. And yeah, like for that. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we love. love the, yeah, that's yeah. one of my love, favorite podcast. Yeah. Our yeah. favorite podcast for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like dog. If I didn't know you, like, I got close my eyes. I thought you were probably about forty. No, like, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got he wise, a wise dude for his age. Definitely you know, wise. Whatever it is, I just see him being like a public speaker, like yeah. beyond the podcast, because he just so it just, I don't know. He always know the right things to say. Yeah, yeah. Because like at that age, I was, only thing I was thinking about was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's. I had a son, but I take care of my son and try to do my little late night. Thing, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? It took me until I was like. Shit, down there, 29, 30, be like, you know what? I gotta stop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a wild boy. Like, yeah. gotta yeah. stop this shit. <laughs> he's, he's wise, yeah. well well beyond his um, mm-hmm. age. Yeah, That's that true. age, I was sleeping with the phone under the box spring. <laughs> 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 for yeah, sure. No, he, I don't even think he makes time for himself, like the way no. he, you know. So. No, they got a dope platform, though. Shout, shout mm-hmm. out to them, though, for shout real. Shout out to Breaking the Machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's something you feel like you need to change personally that might be holding you back? Like, like damn, like, if I. I gotta get this together Like I'm fucking my own self up Like with me It was like Just being more vocal Or just like Just approaching things And not being worried About it failing Like this podcast To me like a year It started Just because yeah. I thought Like niggas ain't gonna Wanna hear me Like you said Niggas ain't gonna Wanna hear what I gotta say So it's just like That was what holding me back Was myself mm. And being worried About failing So what's something With y'all that was Holding y'all That you feel like Holding you back right now That you might need to change Well I wanna say Congratulations on overcoming that Oh yeah for sure Appreciate Because appreciate what I've learned about podcasting, we all got different vibes. It's mm-hmm. different things. So just stay consistent. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be where you want to be. For so sure. Keep, keep grinding. Thank mm-hmm. you for those kind of words. No problem. <laughs> um, I would say fear still hold me back sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's like me, my mind telling me one thing and then fear be telling me another thing because mm-hmm. I'm not like a public person. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to be fam- I don't want to be famous. I want the money over fame. Mm-hmm. But, like, I want to make it without, you know, nobody, like, that fame part, if that makes sense. For sure. No, I get it. I get it. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to have money, but don't, don't, don't nobody yeah. know who I am. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I want people to know who I am, but I don't want to be in the limelight. Okay, yeah, yeah, So, sure. like, that's the fear that I feel like if I really just let everything, like, let the fear go, like, just me being on social media more would make, you know, with my platform 
Because I'm like more than just what you see on my podcast. I be up at three in the morning sending motivational videos out. Mm. Like, and I could, and I record myself. I just mm. never post them. Like, yeah. and it's something that I know that somebody be needing to hear. No, for sure. It might be something that you could just do outside of the podcast, just, you know, for you in general, just to send out to people. Just, they might need to hear that. Or whatever. Yeah, so might be I'm going working on that this year. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. What about you? Uh, what about you? I Jack? don't. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think. Uh, no, I think I'm real empathetic. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's. I do think it's holding me back, but yeah, yeah it's holding me back. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's holding me back. Yeah. I'm just. I don't know. I'm always. I don't think it's a bad thing, but yeah. I, sometimes it is, like, just being way too understanding or, mm -hmm. I don't know. No, for sure. I, I don't know if it makes That's sense to y'all, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's hard to explain. I, yeah. I know what I'm trying to say, yeah, but yeah, I can't yeah. really explain it. Yeah, so you're saying you're too understanding. Like, what you mean? Like, as far as, like, people coming to you with problems? Yeah. People, yeah. 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 That part. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, because I, I was a, a, a person that was, like, caring about other people and not myself or whatever. Like, But then you got to be like, man, fuck that. Like, you do. Mm -hmm. And it's so hard. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, that's why I know sometimes that's held me back from, you know, mm -hmm. doing anything or even just doing stuff that I want to do because I be feeling, like, sorry for somebody else. Like, yeah, man. Instead but, of being sorry for my dad. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, shit. Yeah, man, for real, for real. <laughs> I be, but then, like, even, like, sometimes you got to be, like, stingy with your family, too. Like, with you your do. time and with your, you know what I'm saying, your needs and stuff. You be trying to make your kids happy, your, your wife or your husband happy, or your, mm -hmm. your family, your brother. Like, sometimes you got to be like, well, whatever, dog. I got to focus on me. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get out. Yeah, so that's what I'm working on. That's what I, I'm working on. I'm working on. <laughs> when last time y'all got good crying? <laughs> this morning. Last week. What was, what, 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 what was the reason? I was in church, mm -hmm. and the word um, just really hit me. Mm -hmm. And then I was just crying because yeah. I don't know. It just, Amen. it just, I felt it in my spirit, and I was just crying, crying, crying. And no, I was by myself, so it just made it even more better. Man, yeah, I feel you, because I ain't gonna lie, like, before my mom passed away, like, we, we was going to church heavy, and we was I'm never sorry, into church. It. Oh, it's okay, thank you, thank you. But we was in the church heavy, like, for the last, like, couple months of her life. And we never had went to church, me, him, her, and my grandma and stuff. So, like, that first time going with daughter, it's like everything they were saying, like, God damn. Like, I'm trying to hold mm. the tears. I'm with him, so I'm trying to be a thug at the same time. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, damn, I got to hold this junk in. Then on the text, the same thing. Like, every time I went, little songs or whatever, like, oh, my, here we go with this. My son seen me cry. I'm trying to be like, turn around this way. And just, like, <laughs> I'm like, you can't see me cry. So, yeah, the certain certain things in church now do get to me when, whenever I do go. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I ain't been in the church, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dad? Um, what they listen, cry my last cry. I was overwhelmed, like, um, I have a son who is two, yeah. who don't listen to shit, like, <laughs> <laughs> and, he but he things. is the sweetest kid, but yeah. he don't listen, like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I don't know, he don't listen, so, yeah. um, his, his father is incarcerated right now, okay. and, between them two and mm. then my other son yeah. <laughs> who's who won a million roadblock roadblocks or yeah, roadblocks yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. how old is the other son he is seven okay okay yeah he so gets that. he's seven and then i have a two-year-old so meanwhile one is jumping off the couch one is running up and down the steps asking for robux and yeah. the dad is just calling me i'm like i just want i just got <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Cause Cause I, this is my life. Know, this is my life. What, yeah. Like, I just need to let it out. You know, sure. like I just had to let it out. Yeah, hell but, yeah, hell yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Sometimes you be like, God damn, these damn kids. Like, like, I was like, this is my life. Okay, you gotta cry. You gotta just let it out, and then yeah. have a better day tomorrow. Yeah, cause I got. Cool. Yeah, I got three kids, so I know what it is. I got fifteen, five, and one. I have two and seven, and them boys. I love him to death because when I started crying, my two year old he jumped off the couch and ran to me like, yeah, like "Oh, yeah. I think it's okay." What you like, doing? Like, oh, yeah. like it's so sweet. He might like, not really get into you. I'm he, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my bad. yeah I'm sorry for now. Yeah, for yeah, now, yeah. I'm gonna jump off the couch tonight. Though. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you have your mama for right sure, now. But for sure. I'll be back jumping. Now, before we get to the podcast and how y'all started and everything like that, like talk about growing up and where y'all from. We know y'all from the west side. Um, <laughs> but talk, talk about how it was in the house, who was in the house, stuff like that. Um, I am from the west side, of course. <laughs> um, I grew up with my brother and my sister. Mm -hmm. For the most part, it was a one-parent household. Okay. And, like, one-parent household plus grandparents. Mm -hmm. So they were, like, really heavy in our lives. Mm -hmm. 
Um, my life was really good. My mom loves me. She still loves me to this day. <laughs> Her parents love me. Yeah. Um, got real high expectations. For sure. But I had like an easy life. Like I played sports. I cheerle- I was a cheerleader. Like mm. I went to CAS, graduated from CAS. Yeah, I like some um, CAS people. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> he was a king, so I, I, my school wasn't there. I went to Southeastern. So. <laughs> But you know, Cast tech number one, second to none. <laughs> Therefore, um, you know. <laughs> but I would say I had like a, a great life. Mm, that's what's up. Growing up as a kid, I, I mean, I always got what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I didn't need for anything. Yeah, and yeah. he was blessed. Can you, uh, cause most uh, girls, uh, ladies who grow up with their uh, grandparents in the house can cook. Can you cook? Yeah, I can cook. Yeah, cause grandmas always be like, "Come here, let me show you how to cook." But <laughs> yeah. you got had that, like I said, you got had that right, grandma. With that hanging junk under their arms, like yeah. they got that hanging junk. Oh, they can cook for sure. Yeah, I have a grandmother, and if she watched this, she's yeah. gonna be mad because she hates the the name grandma. She, oh, she don't. What? What? what she's what's, grandmother. Oh, what, what's That's wrong with crazy. grandma? That's crazy. I call my mom mom grandmother. Yeah, she. Grandma, I never said grandmother. Like, she, like I'm going to my grandmother house. She told me because <laughs> I don't re- really remember, but like that gets under her skin. Oh, wow. Like, Sorry, Grandma. I mean, <laughs> Grandmother. Like, she really gets upset about that. Yeah, like, see, I call... And she, she a Gemini, so oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. gets her hot. Oh, yeah. See, I got... Uh, I had both my grandmas around the same time, so it was like... Whenever they were together, it was Big Grandma, Little Grandma. Like, that's how it was. Because I'm like... I, I was tired of saying Grandma, and both of them say, huh? So I'm like, right, shit, Little Grandma, Big Grandma. That's it. <laughs> wow. I know some people call their grandparents Deary or Dear or Mother Dear or stuff like that, so... I never yeah. heard nobody uh, even um, get upset about the Grandma thing, but... Yeah. And my granddaddy is Papa. Okay, okay. He didn't want to be called granddad? No, we just always called him papa. My gr- my dad's side was grandma and grandpa. Mm-hmm. So. Now, what about you? What was, how um, was it growing up on the I West? I grew up on the West Side mm-hmm. in a two-family, uh, I mean, a two-parent household. My mom and dad have been married since I was one. Oh, so that's what's up. So, Congrats. but they've been, and I have an older brother, so um, they've been together forever. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all I know. <laughs> it's, um, I had a very easy going, great childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, I was spoiled. Mm. And um, capital S on that. <laughs> <laughs> very much so. So I don't, the, and that's why I don't be mad at my kids. Yeah. Because I understand. You, yeah, I get yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah. do your thing. So you, so you had it all growing up, huh? Yeah. Um, Dang, no good fella bosses for you or none of that junk. No. Nah, probably know what that is. Do I don't know what that is. Oh. What is that? A good fella box was like around Christmas time. The kids who couldn't really afford stuff, they get this box. And in the box, we had like checkers, chess, uh, Cosby sweater, um, oh, wow. some rustler jeans. Like it was like for kids who couldn't afford nothing. So on Christmas time, you could say you got a gift. So it was a good oh, fella box. That was nice. That's not yeah. good. Yeah, but if the kids at, the, at, at school find out you got the rustler jeans, they're going, oh my God. Oh, they're not a good thing. Because it's like some fake guests. Pants, uh-huh. so it's like that you get roasted like bad. That's bold. That's bold. My mom made me wear that sweater one time. Everybody was calling me Cosby sweater and I'm like, man, I got it bad that day. I was like, I ain't never wearing a good fella box sweater again. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I um, I had a good life. Yeah, I had a good life. So you so uh, you know, we talk about music a lot with this podcast. And usually when you grow up, you get your musical influences from your parents, what they playing when they cooking, cleaning, and stuff like that. So who were some artists that y'all was rocking with just because of y'all parents? Mary J. Blige, mm-hmm. Fantasia, Keisha Cole. So your mom was one of the ones who was just mad, like. Charlie Wilson. Yeah, yeah, I love Charlie Wilson though. No, cause usually you know how like my mom used to listen to, like Mary J. Blige. She used to be like, "He's good for nothing, niggas." Like, you know what I'm saying? My mama used to listen to Mary J. <laughs> I don't Mary think they, they Mary J. Was fly. She like, was just she a vibe. Yeah, she yeah, a vibe. yeah, yeah you sure. can relate. You can yeah. relate to her. What about what about you? Who you who you listen to because of the parents? Um, definitely Mary J. I got um, like Jamie Foxx. Yeah, yeah. People be sleeping on Jamie. Uh, people be mm-hmm. sleep on Jamie. Mm-hmm. He got some mix. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's it. My dad is crazy. My dad was a DJ. He was into like Run DMC, but I ain't never go on to Fantasia had one um, American Idol when we was growing up, so that's kind of why we was listening to it. Oh yeah, I remember that joke. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. Ruben Stutter and John. Uh-huh. What was that one joke he had? Uh, damn. Uh, sorry, my sorry for 2004. Oh yeah, yeah, that was my song before. That was yeah, 2004. That was, yeah, I used to look forward to watching that show, like American Idol. Yeah, it was just fun. Yeah, because he was going against uh, Simon. I mean, no, that's Simon that was, was the judge. judge. Who was that dude that uh, Ruben was going against that was that could have won? The little white skinny guy. Oh, 
don't remember his name, name, but I was happy uh, Ruben Stutter won. Yeah, everybody, I think everybody was cheering for him. He had the little Alabama uh, jersey on the jump mm-hmm. Damn, good times, good times. Now, uh, who was y'all first favorite artist? Like, like when y'all got y'all on here for music, like, oh, I love this person. Bow Wow. Bow Wow? That's crazy. <laughs> hey, he don't, get the, he don't get his just due, though. He was little Bow Wow, dude. Yeah. yeah, he don't get his just due. Like, they don't show him no respect, though. Like, he the only kid he you can say. He them respect them, though. That's true, too. But he the only kid that you can say didn't go crazy as he got older. He didn't. You right. You know what I'm saying? He, I mean, he go through his little baby mama drama and stuff like that. But, you know, most kids who come up from that age be going through drugs, be yeah. messed mm-hmm. up, mm-hmm. commit suicide, or just disappear or whatever. Mm-hmm. He the only yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. That was my man back then. So you had all the posters on the wall too, I huh? had all the posters, all the shirts. I had used to have them spray painted. At the concert, I used to t- had a top. I used to have them in everything. I knew he was going to marry me. Hello. Yeah. I was trying to go to Columbus to see him. Like, man, for that's real. Funny. That's crazy how you had them type of obsessions when you were a kid. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn Bow Wow. He was. Then niggas like us was all mad. Like, y'all like this little nigga? <laughs> <laughs> and then they got the same name as me. Like, his real name is John. <laughs> like damn, nigga, I'm shy. Nigga, like who are you? Huh? Like, then you had Romeo come around. Like nigga, who this nigga knock off? Oh yeah, that was, that was I like Lil Romeo. I like Lil Romeo too. Yeah. Yeah. I like Lil Romeo. Not as a, not like he, him and his dad. I like their family. How they like business oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, like yeah. ain't about music. They just making money off of everything. Mm-hmm. So what's something? I always ask people this. What's something that you wanted to do or be that you just never expressed to nobody? Like me, for instance, I wanted to be a tap dancer. I wanted to play piano and I wanted to learn karate, mm. but I never did none of those three things. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to pledge in college. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be an AK. Did That's you? something that I always wanted to do that I never did, which oh. is still never too late. Yeah, yeah, for but, sure. Um, I did want to do that. Yeah, yeah. What about you? What's some some silly? What's some sitting now? What's some silly that you wanted to be though, Adore? Something silly? Yeah, like, you know, sure, you want to get a little, you know, t- I can tell y'all something that I wanted to be. What up? Something silly? I don't know. I think this is silly. What, <laughs> what is it? Nah, I used to want to be a teacher. Well, how's that silly? How's that silly? It's silly if you know her. It's silly, exactly. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. But what, what stopped that, though? Like, you was like, oh, this ain't for me. They don't get paid. No, they Absolutely don't. nothing. No, they don't. They don't. And it's ridiculous. Like, come on now, being a teacher here is like... Mm-hmm. They damn near need to get paid with the police officers getting no, paid because, yeah. like, their <laughs> jobs is crazy. Yeah, yeah. These you kids. watching these kids, and then parents bringing their kids to school just to be watched for the most part. Like, yeah. hey, man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, hey, you worry about them kids. Like, these you know kids is bad. Not yeah, bad. they different. <laughs> I'll be going to the basketball games and be kids coming there smoking weed. Like, you 14. Listen, <laughs> they smoking the breeze pins. It's the blind leading the blind. Man, it's like, terrible. I love seeing kids who are kids. Like, they're really, like, you know, like, I don't like kids that's grown. Like, yeah. People be posting their kids and just letting them be grown. Like, just <laughs> yeah. let them be a kid. No, for sure. I feel yeah. like if you let if you don't let them be a kid, they gonna have some type of problem. No, like, fast, like fast, ninety percent of them at least. Yeah, yeah. Now, stay on that subject as far as being a kid, school, bow wow. Who y'all? Who was y'all first little relationship with? The little bootleg relationship when y'all trying to go to school, matching and shit. Y'all remember that? Cause I'm- <laughs> Um, Cause you be thinking you gonna be with that person forever. Like I remember my that's little, funny. yeah, I remember my little girlfriend. We was we go to school wearing like the same little basketball jerseys. So like, what you wearing today? I bet. See, I didn't have no school we relationship because I was talking to other guys. Oh shit! <laughs> goddamn, that's, that's the truth. See, we hate so. those dudes. Like, yeah, goddamn, we, I'm in ninth grade. I ain't got no car. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't had. I had a. I went to. Seventh grade with my boyfriend at the time. That's where we met. Mm-hmm. We used to have to wear khakis and white shirts, like so. I mean, it's so like, y'all was we, all always always we already matching. <laughs> yeah. Man, I remember being on the phone, not having nothing to say. My first phone call with a girl, I had wrote down everything I was gonna say. What? Yep. What was you gonna say? I was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> not for hello. Insert name. What's your favorite color? Like, I have. What's your favorite color? What you like to do? It's like I just wanted to make sure I had something to talk about because it was my first crazy. conversation. I was in ninth grade. And I, I didn't talk to the only time I talked to a girl before that, it was like three way calls. Like everybody on the phone talking and jump. But this is my first one on one. I'm like, all right, bet. I got everything lined up. I got through those questions in the first five minutes. <laughs> Next thing you know, it was this dry light. Shit, I don't know what to say. That's what you crazy. thinking about? Um, I'm thinking about like <laughs> oh, yeah. that type of question. I'm like, damn, she think I'm a corn fucking ball. Like, <laughs> now, uh, get to the podcast. Before we get to the podcast, after y'all went to college after high school, like, was college in it? 
did. I, <laughs> Daisy's like a hell no. Nah. <laughs> Baby, I barely finished high school. No, I'm just <laughs> listen up no, for real. No, for it already know. It yeah. was rough, but I did. You got through it though. You made it. I made it, but I and it's crazy because I didn't want to go to school, but life had different plans for me. I feel it. I get it. I know. I went to school for three months. Was it? Was it three? Maybe two. And uh, shit, I had that key on the way. I'm like, man, I gotta I go get some money. It out. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get this money. Yeah, now. for sure. Yeah, I can't even be in this boy. Worry about business one and just like <laughs> <laughs> for real. What about you? Like, how was like, you? You went to school. I went away to school, but I didn't um, finish. Mm-hmm. But I'm currently finishing now. That's what's up. Yeah, it's always, It's never too late. Yeah. And I'm just too. I don't know if I want to do that. Sitting in class and I got kids and I'm like, I want it's to. People, it's people that do. That, that their kids are now older when they mm-hmm. went the yeah, first yeah, time yeah. they had a baby but now that the kids are older you know yeah, for sure. it's a thing that they kind of want to show their kid like you know this is possible or yeah. you know they I didn't heard like 28 different reasons but <laughs> yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always tell people if you go into college make sure that's something you want to do because that's time consuming and mm-hmm. you're not going to make it if that's not nothing you want to do for sure now, and yeah. you're going to be in a lot of debt if you don't got no scholarship oh yeah for sure then you're going to be wasting time because this dude in my mind walked me to my first day in college I was in Macomb. He walked me to that money, waved at me and shit. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm here with 50-year-olds and shit. Like, this nigga who walked me to school. They were so happy. So I'm like, but, like I said, I got my little girlfriend pregnant. And I'm like, shit. I'm in class just thinking about, like, damn, I got to get some money, diapers, bottles. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 like, expenses in your head. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I still want to be fly. Like, I got to get a job, man. Forget this school. I'll come back and I'm still saying I'm going to go back, though. What you was going to school for? You know, like, every black person who don't know what they're going to do, business. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going for business. Like, you know? But if I if I would have knew better the stuff that I was leading up to, I would have went to, like, Specs Howard and did, like, some uh, audio engineer oh, or music yeah, production because yeah, yeah. they make so much money in. Mm-hmm. That junk lasts forever. You could be mm-hmm. a 60-year-old dude engineering somebody's song. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would have definitely did that instead of go to, you know, going <laughs> to the school. Instead of going for business. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, instead of going for business. <laughs> I could have been behind them boards and jump. Yeah. I could have been hell of a whatever. Yeah, real beneficial too. For sure, for sure. It's never too late though. Nah. Never too late. No, no, no. Now, uh, y'all man high school, y'all became homies in high school, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, y'all being good friends and stuff, like what led to y'all starting the podcast and stuff like that or, or talking about it? We was debating about the president. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when it was time to vote again for the president and she had like made this post. Mm-hmm. You probably, you, did you get a lot of comments? It was like yeah. thick comments though. Like, yeah. Because, I don't know what the question was, but we was just debating about it. And I called her. I mean, we debate about everything. <laughs> yeah, so sure. one day we was just like, we're going to start a podcast. And we like got it. We had a meeting. We met at a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Had some drinks. Talked about things. We would talk about talked about people we would, you know wanted to have as a guest. And it just started as like writing it down. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then it just... Then we had a photo shoot. Then we still waited a couple months. And then one day we was just like, you know what? We about to do this today. Like, we about to go tomorrow. Right. Yeah, for sure. That's all, yeah, yeah. You got to just do it. Now, uh, before we get to that real quick, y'all man, high school, like, a lot of times high school friendships, uh, relationships, it fade away. What made y'all just stay, con- what made y'all stay connected and stuff like that throughout those years? Because, like, at the 12th grade, some people be like, who? Like, we you forget who that person friends. was. We friends. Yeah. We real friends, so. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, We've we just always been real friends. Like mm-hmm. even if I don't talk to her for two weeks, it's never no love lost. Like I can call her like we just talked yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, vice that's vice just vice. how just how I always been. For sure. Now y'all started the podcast. Y'all first episode was April eleventh last year, or whatever. Was it one person that wanted to do a podcast a little bit more than the other? Like like oh man, she really didn't want to do it, but I had to kind of like pull her into it. Or well, y'all both was like equal. equal. Yeah, we wanted to do it. Like yeah. we literally came up with it. We like we about to do this shit. Yeah, and we did it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Now the first episode, y'all say y'all was intoxicated in the mud, mm-hmm. messed up and junk. Yep. Would y'all worry about those numbers after that first episode? Like, damn, I wonder how it's gonna go. Like, are y'all a numbers person anyway? Yeah and no, because we discussed that on one of our um, episodes where we talk about like if you t- post something toxic mm-hmm. or. Just messy. Mm-hmm. They want to see that. They go go. Yeah, for sure. go hell yeah, hell if yeah. If you talk about like being productive, being on time, like stuff people need to know about, they don't mm-hmm. want to hear that. Mm-hmm. That's because some people just be content and stagnant where they at, and they cool with it. Mm-hmm. So like me, I like to listen to motivational stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I be wanting to hear how people made it because I can be in the same shoes as somebody else. Like, sure. and I just like seeing people be better, be a better person all around. So Fast. I'm going to go for the motivational stuff. If I need a laugh or two, I might listen to the messy stuff, but me, <laughs> I'm more so, you know, but I'm not really like a views person, mm-hmm. but 
we really been getting a lot of yeah. views. So now, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Just, like, but the thing about it though, like somebody had told me, like since since y'all have guests on there, it don't matter if you get two views this week. If they go back, they can always go back and that, mm-hmm. that, that still be current. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It ain't like y'all talking about weekly topics, like, you know, what Felicia doing, loving hip hop. Like, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so yeah. it's like y'all having conversations so they can always go back to that, you know what I'm saying? That certain mm-hmm. uh, interview you had with such and such or whatever. That's actually kind of what happened. Um, we, th- I think that, like, when somebody find an episode, they like, if somebody has, people have told us, like, yeah, I went back and watched all y'all old stuff, like, yeah. you know. I feel like that's just me too. Like if I find somebody I like and they've been out and I just never heard of them, mm-hmm. I'll go back and start watching their old stuff to see. Like, oh, okay, like. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, do, do y'all, um, y'all, y'all, what y'all, what y'all podcast about for the people who don't know? I know sometimes y'all do interviews. Sometimes it's just two of y'all. Give us a breakdown, like y'all podcast and stuff like that, for the people who ain't who don't know about y'all right now. Well, we are real talk with the Dora and Daisy, mm-hmm. and we like to talk. About real talk, no, like you no, know, no, no, <laughs> no, we stuff. um we we don't really have a base topic because mm. we go from you know drama, real life, everyday things mm. to spiritual, being alone. Mm. You know, yeah. Um, it's not really set in stone. Like mm. one, we don't just talk about one thing. We yeah, talk yeah, about sure. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, literally. Yeah, yeah. And those be the ones because you be like, you want you. I, when I listen to podcasts or like even when I just listen to interviews on Breakfast Club, I want to know about the person. I don't uh, want to just know about the music they put. And I want to know right. about what they went through. Mm-hmm. So then, like, damn, I went through that same shit. Like you said, like, damn, I went through that. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So it be it's good to get a background on somebody and not just hear what they got out currently. Like right. I want to know what what mm-hmm. led up to you doing music when you were selling drugs or you know. <laughs> <laughs> However what, you got there, I want to know. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, do y'all study? For other other podcasts, like to kind of get an idea, like, or y'all just going there blinded, like, fuck it, we doing it. Study, no, I, I don't study, but I, I do, do watch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What y'all go to podcast to watch? I, Outside of y'all's. Mine is really Sarah Jakes, honestly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who? What's, Sarah, what's, Sarah Jakes? She got a um, podcast. Isn't mm-hmm. she a pastor? She is a pastor. Okay. Um, but she, but it's not like all pastor pastor stuff on there she, <laughs> she talk about what I like about her is she transparent like she got pregnant when she was 13 Damn. that's T.D. <laughs> that's T.D. Jake's daughter of course society looked at her like she was crazy because yeah. how are you pregnant at 13 and your daddy a pastor like, oh, for sure. yeah, yeah, she yeah. wasn't she went to church because that's what her parents was into like she didn't go because she wanted to mm-hmm. so at 13 she had a baby and it changed her life so like she always say woo child <laughs> if I was the Sarah when I was 14 I would have never let that ha-. you know like she talk about like relationship like she talk about yeah. other stuff than church mm-hmm. but she mm-hmm. like real transparent but that's I like um, listening to her yeah 13 I was only dreaming of it like <laughs> pregnant mm-hmm. like I was dreaming about about girls like, like damn I can't wait like so what about uh, what about you so you don't you, you, what, what podcast you be messing um, with I watch I, I honestly watch our podcast oh, but so, no <laughs> I watch a uh, million dollars worth of games oh, yeah, while dogs, on Gilly man. Yeah. and um breaking the machine I, yeah. I watch spanking a mod yeah, yeah, yeah um yeah those are the latest podcasts that I've been watching besides Right. Oh yeah, 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 you say fuck. I'm watching my shit. I ain't yeah. watching nobody else's. I like to see us on the screen. I really do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y- y- y'all see me on the screen back here. <laughs> yeah, <people. laughs> love, love to see it. Yeah, to yeah, see yeah. It. And Detroit podcast. I listen to like people that we've encountered with. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. way, I can get a. Uh, I can see like who got podcast and mm-hmm. like potential events. Yeah, yeah, yeah for so, sure. Oh yeah, wait. It is another one that I've been watching lately. She just started hers. Kicking it with Bella. Okay, oh, yeah. and, and, and she from here. She's from, from Detroit, here, yeah. and she been turning up lately. Her, she been, she been having some real good topics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you be feeling like? Do you think it's like podcast beef in the city? Like niggas be mad. Like damn, he got that. He got that interview. I wanted that shit. Like, or you know what I'm saying? Like personally, I don't know, but me personally, I just be happy to see whoever get whoever. For sure. If you, if you, you know, if you really wanted you gonna get this person yeah. and then like my thing it's just like the rap music like if one person blow then it's gonna be eyes on us mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so if y'all blow I'll be alright well, shit they gonna start looking at other Detroit right. podcasts there ain't no hating or like that I mean I call myself the podcast MVP but that's just cause you know that's cause how I feel like yeah. you know what I'm saying as you should, as you should. yeah for sure but no, yeah, I, I think like some people do hate. It's like people with me, in music. Like if I'm if I'm Lil Dante from down the street rapping, and then uh, Babyface Ray blowing up, you like, God damn, I was in the same hood with this nigga. Yeah. I might be better than him, but it's like it's just his time, and you just gotta know eventually. You gotta you might, be happy for yeah, it. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Because everybody gonna have their time. Mm-hmm. For sure. Everybody had their time. Now you guys was uh was uh nominated for um 
your favorite local podcast on uh, Detroit uh, Choice Awards. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we should. I should have been nominated, but it's all good. That's, that's, that's all good. You, <laughs> know, you want to know what's so crazy? We didn't know the dates. Like I yeah. hadn't seen it, mm-hmm. so I don't. I don't know, like, if it was, like, something small or you yeah. had to already been following I the page. Nothing. But I didn't see, like, people posting the nominees until mm-hmm. the final people was mm-hmm. posted. So yeah. that's when I seen it. Yeah, because I didn't know nothing about it until, I think he had talked to me about it whatever, but I didn't know anything about it at all until I, yeah, I saw you posting it and stuff like that. I voted for y'all. Thank you. you. Know Thank you. You know, you know I, I look out. <laughs> Thank you. But how would y'all feel about that? Like, y'all, y'all not even a year in, and y'all already got nominated for something like that. Like, do that make y'all feel good? Yeah. It feels good. It feels good to be nominated. Mm-hmm. Um, like, we, do y'all care about stuff like that or like? Um, I'm excited yeah. about yeah. that. Like, I I feel like we've even though it hasn't been a year, we didn't put in a lot of work. Like, mm-hmm. the, in the last six months, we've been working. For so, sure. I, it definitely feel good to be um, noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, everybody go vote if y'all watching this. <laughs> go vote for us right now. Y'all got. Y'all can vote as many times as you want. Mm-hmm. Oh, Detroit real, oh, sure. Choice yeah. Award. Yeah. But, now, the only but, thing I don't like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I wish, like, if, okay, say that the people um, nom- nom- uh, vote for the people they wanted to be on the nomina- on the nominees. Mm-hmm. I feel like the people, they should have people that's 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 watching a podcast decide. Because it's gonna be mm-hmm. easy. Like, say if y'all are popular, you know, yeah, it's true. and you get all your people flooded, then the other person might not have as many, you know what I'm saying? I think it should be just a panel of people watch, watch a couple episodes mm-hmm. and really see what it's about and then make the vote. Because mm-hmm. then it seemed more, it just seemed more genuine like that. Mm-hmm. Like, because it's like, all right, it could be him or Craig or Tyrone, Felicia. Right, right, right. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And they just sit there and watch all the podcasts for about a week and just go through their stuff and then they come back and then they give their input on who they feel. Then they would have to do that for all the movies. Then they gonna have to do that yeah. for all the But it's kind of like, Acad- like the Academy Awards. Yeah. True. They gotta watch those movies, you know what I'm saying, to really know. Because if people are just voting in, like, yeah, I think, uh, goddamn Friday should be on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Friday would have won the Academy Award by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Facts. <laughs> so I think it should be like that. But I hope y'all win and y'all was on my show so I can just, you know, Brad is y'all was on my shit. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. No, for sure, for sure. So, uh, y'all been doing a podcast. Y'all had a couple of interviews and, and stuff like that, a lot of episodes. Y'all on season two right now. It, y'all are done with season two? We done with season two. We working on season three. Yeah. Now, what, what's been like the most powerful episode y'all had? Like, it surprised y'all. Like, damn, I didn't know like this person was going to be this deep or the conversation going to turn into this. Like, um, spiritual healing for me. Okay. Um, the girl, Kayla, who I had on there, like she said some things that mm-hmm. I never knew that she went through. Mm-hmm. So I didn't feel like the conversation was going to be that deep, mm-hmm. but like it was deep Yeah. and it was really beneficial because we had people reaching out to us. I had guys DMing me paragraphs. Like, mm-hmm. I never knew that I had to be by myself to feel like this or mm. to get ahead and stuff like that. Like yeah. that was really like one of my favorite episodes. What about, what about you, uh, Miss Daisy? Um, mm, I believe the one we just had with Lashawn, yeah, uncomfortable was, conversation. Yeah, I was listening to it on the way here. That one was. Um, she was very transparent, mm-hmm. and she, she, we got a lot of comments on that one too as well. So. Mm. It yeah. helped a lot of people out, mm. and I feel like that was a real great I like great the one. podcast that's deeper that people are scared to talk about. Like mm-hmm. People that don't, people that have problems but act like they don't got problems, yeah. but when we put, you know, like if you let it hear from somebody else, yeah. they may feel like, okay, well, maybe I should go talk to a therapist, sure. or maybe I should go, you know, do this and do that. Like, no, I'm all more for, you know. Real like, healing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. Now, I, I got a question real quick, just going off of, you know, saying something that you said and something that you said. Well, you said on my 100th episode, you said how your uh, your dad's incarcerated, right? Mm-hmm. So you said you had your dad around a lot, and your husband is incarcerated, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, do that affect y'all, like, in the long run with things? Like, with you growing up, do it affect you with, like, maybe guys you meet because you might have a certain uh, expectation for the person because of the, the uh, relationship you have with your father and with you? Do you look at, like, you say you got more pressure now with the kids and stuff like that. Do you look at, like, like do you put blame on yourself or, like, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. those two things can really, you know, harm you in the long run and stuff like that if you let it. Mm-hmm. I got um, childhood trauma from my dad. Mm-hmm. And, like, people try to, sh- like, 
my dad's side of the family, like, like they try to shame me for speaking on it, but mm. I feel like that's only what making me better because I do speak on it. And mm-hmm. no, he's not a bad person. Mm. No, he's not a bad dad. Like, the apple don't fall from, from the tree, so mm. I'm feeling like he didn't get loved like he should. That's so, right. like, how will he know how to love, you know? But I'm learning that as I'm getting older. So it's like I'm trying to, you know, heal that, mm. you know. But I don't want to see him locked up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I want to see him free and, like, being a person that whatever, doing whatever it is that make him happy. But, yeah, I do see, I do feel like that has hindered me in the mm. dating world because I've met guys like him that I didn't yeah. want anything to do with because you remind me of him. Like, For sure. you know, so, like, he traumatized me yeah. in a lot of ways. So it's like, if you do anything that remind me of him, <laughs> like, it, so it's the, 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 the lowest thing. Yeah. Damn. Okay, you gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. now, what about you? Because you, you know, you, you got you, you got two young ones and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I, like, I ain't gonna ask you how much time he got where he did like that. This ain't yeah. Vlad TV. No, <laughs> but, it's, it's crazy. He hasn't. He's not even sentenced. So oh, it's wow. just some. So it's fresh. It, no, hell no, this shit done. It's been a year. Okay. But um, it's, I don't blame myself, which may be a problem why I'm probably going through this again. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know what to say about it. Yeah. Life. Yeah, no, it's it, life for it, sure. It, be ha- it, it happens. I don't know. I don't stress over things I can't control. Mm-hmm. And I can't seem to figure out why things happen like this or why I'm going through it, but mm. maybe I need this time alone to figure yeah. it out. No, for sure. Now, do you be having people you could, you know, talk to whatever and get you through this? And, like, and then you got two young boys. So, like, if they, you know, they father, depending on how much time they have, like, do they got somebody they can look at, you know what I'm saying, being a male figure? Because there's only so much that, you know, he could tell them from, you know, behind bars and stuff right. like that. Um, yeah, they have somebody. Mm-hmm. They do. That's um, what's up. Yeah, because, like I said, my, like, I... I, my mom passed away when I was what twenty five. My father passed away when I was thirteen. Actually, mm-hmm. I was on my way to goddamn graduation. They, I'm like, damn, y'all couldn't tell me afterwards. Like, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I found out uh, my way there. So like, I had like, luckily, I had like my uncle right here. Had like my older brother, my other uncles and stuff. I had dudes that would still, you know, put me yeah. up on game and stuff like that. So it wasn't. You know, it's hard for my mom to raise, you know, what I'm saying two right. boys and be like. This is what a man supposed to do. Like, you know, True. Yeah. you got questions about, you know, sex. You got mm-hmm. well, how you do this, mom. Like, it, I mean, even though me and my mom had the relationship, I could ask her, like, hey, when I do this, what I do? Like, right. yeah, yeah. how you put the condom on? Like, yeah, yeah. it was stuff that people want as a mom that I'm like, shit, I got to. But also, I had older homies that was, you know, giving me game and tell me, you know, saying how to, how to, how to be and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like you find ways to deal with it. For sure. I mean, because you're not the only person in the world going through it. So, mm-hmm. like, it's ways, you know, to deal with it. But I do feel that you want to be able... I did want to be able to ask my daddy, daddy, this, yeah. this, this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and it's only so much they can say over a phone. Yeah, and then on that show, you said that, you know, saying your dad was, like, more your homie. Yeah, and he th- tries to be my yeah. homie. But- <laughs> See, with me, I, it's like, with me, I'm, like, both. Like, I'm, 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 I'm going to be your friend, but I'm also going to be... A discipline, you know, say I'm a discipline I'm, you. I'm gonna tell you what to do, what you need to do. So, cause you know, sometimes if you're just so stern that the kids be like, I don't want to talk to dad. Yeah. Like, he just always yeah. just me, me, me. But I could be like, hey man, you stupid. Like you know, what I'm saying I joke around a like, lot. I'm a jokester. But when it's time to go to work, like hey nigga, you you fucking up in school yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Like get this shit together. Yeah. No, my mama like she my friend too, but she also still check me as a mom. Like mm-hmm. you know, you shouldn't be doing this or you know you shouldn't be doing that. Like my daddy, I've never really heard him say you wrong or you you shouldn't be doing. Like he, ne- I never when he tried to discipline me, I felt like you don't even have a right to discipline me. So I was already <laughs> mentally yeah. there. So <laughs> you know, so I don't know. It's yeah. just like a parent when you get grown. Yeah, you know. They are still your parent in a way, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, I yeah. still want to be able to call my mom and be soft as a kid to her. You know, For I'm sure. still your daughter. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, this last question I'm going to ask you, because me and my wife was talking about this. I, we just be having a stupid conversation sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, if I got locked up, would you wait for me? Like, <laughs> like So, do you wait for the person, like, <laughs> or no comment? Like, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm waiting. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. It's been a long year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, but I'm waiting. Because I, I told her, like, if... if I not gonna work because ain't shit gonna happen to me. Yeah, but also, can I add in there? You said you asked your wife if she waiting. That's different. A wife from mm-hmm. a girlfriend. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, she got a rock on her hand too for. The... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, yeah, yeah, that is true. Cause girlfriend, I was like, yeah, man, just go do your thing. Yeah. I ain't gonna even stress myself in here. And... We yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard, but you know. Yeah. For better, for worse, yeah, you yeah. know, our vows really meant something. How long y'all been married? Um, it'll be five years this year. Oh wow, y'all, y'all in that boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, people be having those, uh, be afraid to have a conversation. That's why sometimes I told him I like having, you know, ladies on the show more than dudes because sometimes a dude don't even want, they too tough to talk about yeah. something. Like, nigga, when the last time you cried? Nigga, I don't cry. Like, nigga, yeah. shut up, nigga. <laughs> like, You probably just crying all the way here. <laughs> but I remember, dog, when Kobe died, I ain't going to lie. Oh, I felt like it was my brother. <laughs> I, remember, I, I did a show with my boy Easy Fresh. I went home. I'm like, dog. I was crying because this is my first favorite Red basketball player. Kobe. I was in my crying for a week. I was at work getting teary out like, like damn. Shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I might that, have to go home. I don't know. <laughs> and then the Nipsey Hustle, his passing affected oh, yeah, me just because yeah. he was, I locked myself in the room. Yeah, we like the same age and like like you doing so much for your community, dog, and then you just pass away. Like you get shot yeah. by some. You Only know what thing saying? I some hate about yeah. his situation, he was so slept on. Yeah, for sure. Hell, he was like wasn't... so slept on. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's what even made it even worse for me because I felt like I wish certain people would have like been able to get his vibe while he was here. Mm-hmm. You know, so he was a real one for sure, and for sure. I just. I'm sad that even went like that. So when I go to Cali, I still f- I think about him when I land. Like, yeah. Yeah. y'all be all over the place too. I be noticing that. Like, damn, I wish I could be like them when I grew up. Yeah, y'all, yeah. <laughs> Cali, y'all was in what? Y'all was in Houston. Where's y'all? Uh, uh, Chicago. 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 Yeah, Chicago. Yeah. Y'all went. To, yeah, y'all, y'all be moving. Congrats yeah. to y'all. Trying. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, uh, give me y'all y'all dream interview. Y'all top three dream interview, major and local. Hmm. My major is a uh, Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> Steve Harvey <right. laughs> Listen, I knew it was coming. That's for both of y'all. Just, you knew she was, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She talked about Steve on the uh, honey episode. Oh, good uh, Steve. She talked about Steve on every episode, okay? <laughs> Come on, let's talk about Steve. That's Uncle Steve, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else? Who else? Who's some other people? Um, locally, we've been trying to get Babyface Ray. Yeah. Um, if you're watching this, yeah. we talking about you. Yeah, me too, cuz. What up, though? You had a hard album, too. That was hard. <laughs> yeah, he, he going crazy right now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Cause I Mainstream, want... I would do Gotti. Gotti. I would do Gotti. For sure. Even though he, yeah, he, he fooled y'all on that challenge, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> on that Dallas for Dallas challenge, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. on that set. Anything. For sure. That was all about the Pro Bowl. Hey, I ain't mad at you. They be coming up with some stuff like yeah. when they about to jump. That was he. That yeah. was he, though. Yeah, because people be forgetting. Vezo did that same challenge mm-hmm. and wound up having Dirk on the song. Hey, nigga. <laughs> it wasn't Dirk. I thought it was... um. No, no, it was Herbo. My bad. Herbal. It was Herb. Yeah, it was Herbo. Yeah. He was on that mud. Nigg- niggas on that mud rapping their ass off. I'm going crazy. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the, I love the tactic, though. It, it go yeah. crazy. You it get a very time. Yeah, for sure. Promote I'm still, yourself. I'm still thinking about my, about my local art person <laughs> I would want to put on. Um, Locally, I would, I would want payroll. Just because he, like, he, he like a humble dude who don't yeah. do too much, and he always out the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> yeah, um, locally, I don't know. Yeah. It's a lot of people that I still want to work with. I yeah. feel like um, local, some of our local people, they Hollywood. Mm. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. So hell yeah. That's they, a fact. They like, <laughs> they like a leave you on red instead of just saying yes or no. Yeah. Like, That's but a, they don't oh, even yeah. know that like. You know, although you might feel like you have a platform, you just never know what my podcast for sure. can, can do for you. Yeah, you know? yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then, like, if I'm a dude and I'm out from the city, even if I, if I blew up, I'm still going to, like, let me go ahead and support my local, you know, say rappers or, or singers or podcasters. And that's you know the what I'm thing. Like, people say they support Detroit or they be all for the city, but they yeah. don't. They just right. for a popular person. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Like, that's and, it. That's, and that's the one thing with me. Like, I'm not going for popular, popularity. Like, mm. if I fuck with it, yeah, then that's what yeah. I, you know. That's what it is. If not, I don't. But yeah, for sure. I'm never just going just because you're popular. Yeah. yeah. Cause with me, like even like somebody might ask me to be on a show or vice versa. Like, I go, let me go ahead and skim through this stuff, see what it's about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. That's whatever. exactly what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. For sure. For sure. You never know what you get yourself into. Yeah. No, fast, fast. Cause I had somebody. That's why I say I uh, shout out to All Star Jr. I asked him to be on the show, and he just hit me back and kept it real. Like he said, at this at this point, he's just trying to go on somewhere I could build him up and him not build that that platform up. Even though, I, it, hey, it would've been cool, but I respect yeah. him for saying something because a lot Say, of niggas, I respect I him respect for respect. what he that he responded to you. Yeah. But I don't. He just don't know what your what yeah, your sure. he don't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you just never know. Because he didn't sit down and watch any of your episodes to even Hell determine no. it. 
Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, it would be a dope conversation, dog. You know, it's all yeah. good, though. Yeah. People don't understand. It'd be that one thing that just make you blow. Like, mm-hmm. you could have 200 episodes and 201 is it. And yeah. you blow, sure. they gonna go watch the, the rest of the yep, 200. Like, so, yeah. like, yeah. that's why I that I, would, I don't think I would. That wasn't the right thing to say. But, I mean, I'm glad he did respond. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, of course, I was a little saucy. Like, goddamn, cuz. <laughs> but, yeah, I respect it. Because a lot of niggas, like you said, will leave you on red, like, like damn, you could you couldn't even say no. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Like it's okay to say no. Like yeah. it's mm-hmm. it's your choice. Yeah, I'm not but, tripping. Yeah. But they what they don't know is podcasting. I want to say it was last year or the year before that. How many people became millionaires off podcast? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Podcast is a platform like the news. Like mm-hmm. don't ever sleep on the podcast. Yeah, like, sure. and that's mm-hmm. what they gotta know. So just because you want to go on this this interview, that interview, like mm-hmm. because they already made it, mm-hmm. don't. Just yeah. don't dis- <laughs> don't discredit yeah, podcast. For yeah. sure, Hell yeah, I remember all you motherfuckers too. <laughs> <laughs> that part for real, for real. So, uh, have oh you still say your local person? This anybody who want work? That was really my anybody answer. There's a couple people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know. For sure, hell yeah. They know Hollywood. Now, without naming names, without naming names, have y'all had had interviews so far that you like? Damn, like this junk is. We we gotta save this interview. They don't want to say nothing. Like it's dry. I asked a hundred questions. No, no comment. We ain't had, we oh. ain't had that one. We ain't had that um, because, like, if they not the vibe that we need, we gonna mm. make it our vibe. Like, For you sure. know, we gonna yeah. switch it up, and it's gonna be. I mean, it's our show, but mm. when we do we, have guests, we try and you know mm. let it be theirs. But if they ain't giving what they supposed to, yeah, we just we just it's gonna be being heard. <laughs> For sure, I get, I get it. Get it now, what's one thing I know y'all love doing this, but what's one thing y'all hate about? The podcast game, like that y'all got reaching out to people and being left on red, <laughs> like, yeah, for like sure. say something, say no, say I'm not doing it, say your price, say yeah. you know, I don't know, say something, but mm-hmm. the not responding and you seeing my shit is <laughs> that's the worst part for me. No, for sure. What about you? The worst part is having to. I would say reach out to people because I take well I don't really t- I start taking stuff personal because yeah. I know if I would <laughs> I know if I would have DM'd you yeah. like hey I'm trying to talk to you or something oh, like that yeah. you gonna be yeah. dropping me a location <laughs> quicker than yep. w- quicker than I even DM'd you right. but like I know for a fact you know why don't you just say it like, yeah just yeah say no. No. yeah I'm good like I'm 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 okay on this yeah I don't know so, but some people just get real Hollywood but oh, I ain't man. gonna say nothing if you don't want to hear Wonder but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, now speaking of, you know what you said if you were trying to get on, have people used the podcast to try to get on y'all? Yes. Like, oh god, oh my god, <laughs> yes. yes. What be like? What are we doing? Like, call call me. I need to talk about it. <laughs> like, what do we need to talk about? Yeah. You know, why do you want me to call you? <laughs> what about you? Like, be, a lot of time. Man, what's the what's the wildest DM you ain't had since y'all did this podcast? Like, we got. <laughs> Cash that four four for four for lunch. What? Oh my god! <laughs> That's what he said. He said no, seriously. Lunch. He said no. you know how you and put the subject. It said <laughs> enjoy lunch. Get y'all a four for four. That's what it said. The heck, man. Yep. That was the wildest <laughs> shit, though. That was the. It was strange. Man, that was, was very funny. strange. <laughs> the four for four. Duh. We can't like, even get Chipotle. Man, that's funny. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, that was, was that serious. was the most extreme. And I could, he was serious. Yeah. He said he wrote after he sent it. He sent the screenshot. Enjoy, okay. Duh. Yeah. Nigga, four for four. True y'all. story. Separately or together. True story. Together. Oh, <laughs> together. Y'all got split the four. Split the four for four. Man, that's funny as hell. God damn, niggas. Hey man, come on man, come better than that, dog. You gotta just imagine like I know, you like, gotta come better than that because yeah. now you playing in my face. Yeah, you, for sure. you think I can't afford my own? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I got kids. What the fuck out here? Yeah, that was that was. Now you know. Speaking on that, like you got female rappers, podcasters, actresses, and stuff like that. Is it hard, like when when people think like they're they attractive, like to do business with guys when they like focus on y'all looks <laughs> and not like what y'all do? Yeah, I would say so. It be certain people they I know they be good people and they got like good business tax, tactics, mm-hmm. but when they like shoot they shot, they just really just rub me the wrong way. Cause it's like, why did you have to do this? Like, <laughs> you know, like we trying to really accomplish something. You know, like yeah. it just make me uncomfortable and I want to do nothing with you. Like, yeah, cause it went from the podcast to Grand Rising, like <laughs> <laughs> Queen. <laughs> yeah, like. Mm-mm. And yeah. it's like, like I feel like guys don't even give it a good chance. Yeah. Like, maybe 
I even asked somebody, like, how many good people did you really lose because you mm. had to make a move yeah. that you really didn't have to make? And they're sure. like, well, yeah, now that you put it that way. Right. Yeah. You know, we could have probably ran it up together, really went somewhere for real, and then maybe we could have, you know, yeah. we might have caught a vibe by the I don't for know. For sure, but for sure. It's just so. But niggas don't know how to let stuff just go play long with John. Like, they mm. want to be on that shit. Hey, what up? <laughs> no cap. I want you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Vultures. Like, After the podcast, I want you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Y'all had somebody like that? No, I'm just. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, like no. damn. They was like, it was a good interview. So, uh, what's your number? <laughs> Let's go hang. <laughs> hey, you know, so you, have y'all had like last minute guests cancel on y'all? Yep. Two. Well, really, one was miscommunication. This was season one. Um, he didn't show up. Mm. And he texted me, like, where he DM me, like, in the middle of the night. Like, my bad. <laughs> but, yeah, that um, was some bullshit. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. we had a one miscommunication. Like, how yesterday you reached out to me, like, we still looking good for tomorrow. Like, mm. I kind of like to confirm a day mm. ahead, too, just in case, you know, mm. life happen, things happen. You know, just say something. Mm. Don't just, don't say nothing at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, um... Mm. He ain't say nothing. Well, he asked us to remind him, mm. and then he didn't say nothing with the reminder. So I'm like, that was our only podcast that they saw, and it was later, like at eight o'clock. I'm like, I gotta go to work the next day. I'm like, I text her like, well, maybe we mm. we not doing this podcast. Let's mm. just not go. He didn't say yes or no. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything to the reminder. To the reminder. <laughs> so he showed up to the podcast and called called and was like, where y'all at? And we was like, well, you never confirmed. Yeah, for like, sure. You know, you can't play yeah. people time. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. I ain't got so many people play my time. Like, I ain't got somebody. The podcast at one, they ain't hit me up at two o'clock. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna be able to make it. Like, nigga. Like, what? Clearly. Yeah, I thought that, nigga. Like, I'm coming away from goddamn Livonia over here. You could have just told me, though. Yeah. Like, I don't live on the east side, nigga. I'm just from here. Yeah. Like, I just do this shit with my uncle crib. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas be like, man, fuck your time. They do. Yeah, they, play, it. they play with your time. They don't care. No, hold on. Let me tell you a funny joke I had. I had somebody, I ain't gonna say no name. <laughs> this, and it was a dude. This dude had told me. It's snowing, dog. Can you send me an Uber? Oh, I remember that story. Yeah, he want, he want me to pay for it, though. Like, nigga, what? Like, uh, I looked at that shit for, like, five minutes. Like, I can't believe these niggas just asked me to pay for an Uber, dog. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, I don't do this snow shit. I'm like, all right. I ain't even say nothing. I just closed it. Like, dog, I ain't yeah. going to say nothing, bro. Yeah, like, they Good don't move. understand. Like, <laughs> we grinding, too. Like, yeah. the, well, I don't know why people think podcasts is a joke. <laughs> it's not. Like, <laughs> like I, was, I looked at that shit baffled. Like, what? Nigga, send you an Uber? Like, nah, bro. We don't do that around here, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like, know what you think this is. black car, too, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you you a fool, man. Now, the last thing I want to add about the podcast is, like, like, do y'all, when y'all, like, reach out to people or people reach out to y'all, is it something that somebody can do or, or say or, or or on any platform that make you be like, no, nah, this this motherfucker can't come on here? Like, it's crazy. We're, we're getting to that point. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, we get to that point. It's it's not really a certain thing. Mm. It's kind of like you can kind of tell a person's yeah, vibe sure. from yeah. their social media, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So yes, yeah. yeah so yeah. We, we're we're getting we're getting there. there. Yeah, I've been I've been telling people. I, I I respond like, oh man, I, I'm I'm booked right now, but I'm gonna mm-hmm. get back with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, some people just kind of think podcast is a joke, yeah. like so they don't take it serious, and it seems like something fun to do. Don't get me wrong, it is fun, mm-hmm. but it's also you got to know what to talk about, you got to know what to say, like you got to know, what you, you know, it's it's not for everybody. Yeah. And, like people just, well, oh, I see y'all get a couple views, you know, like, put me on the show, like, oh, it's not, yeah, like yeah. It's give not. me on the show right now, like <laughs> nigga ain't got not one single out there, like what? <laughs> or music be trash, I might. Uh, yeah. I'm like, you gotta I know. keep grinding. Like, yeah. I'm like, hey, don't yeah. listen to this nigga, dog. He wanna come on the show. <laughs> like, I'm good, bro. I'm yeah. good, man. Hey, hey, hey. It's, I'm good. I read yeah. it. I looked at it. I even listened to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I sing <laughs> on that. Now, with relationships, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's some do's and don'ts for a guy approach with you? Like, before before you was in a relationship, like, you know. <laughs> no, we, I'm there. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> what's some do's and don'ts? Like, don't get on my nerves. <laughs> Don't do that. Stop <laughs> um, do's and don'ts. Do's cash at me. Bill. <laughs> no <laughs> Bill wasn't even out. Oh, yeah. Bill, Bill cash out. Cash wasn't even out. No, I'm talking shit. Um, yeah, don't definitely don't get on my nerves. Don't yeah. tell me no. Um, Damn, that's pressure. Western Union was out back then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Western Union. Now, huh, would you like say, you, you growing up, you being spoiled, Walmart Walmart, you being right spoiled now. and just like that, uh-huh. would you like expecting like a nigga got to be right here? Yep. Not, not, he can't, what if you're on the bottom, but he building up to get there? 
Uh, <laughs> he got like, ambition. He got goals. Mm-hmm. But he just on fries. Well. But he's, you see him, he going to school. I ain't going to lie. Nowadays, in this generation, you might have to take the one on fries because he got way more potential than the one that's just waiting on another scam to hit or another <laughs> come up. No, for sure. Like, I respect the guy with the fries because slow motion better than no motion. Like, yeah, people do true. try. Yeah. I'm laughing at you because you don't want to get a job. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to laugh at the one with a job. I'm going to laugh at the one that you need, You really need a job. Like, yeah. so. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, I hear it. No, you my girl. Great, love it, love it. But uh, I'm, I've always had my shit together. I'm yeah. always coming with the full table, so yeah. I, I can't, I ain't bringing. I ain't you got the table. I'm just bringing. I'm bringing a little chair. chair like, I'm yeah. sorry, no. Yeah, you, you can't sit here. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. What's the wildest thing somebody did from keeping y'all from leaving? Like I fake cry before. I think oh my god! <laughs> Dog, this, uh, listen, this dude had his mom call me. Y'all. I w- we was we was going through a little breakup, so I'm already with my little sneaky link. <laughs> this nigga is called. First of all, he blew me up. Yeah. He like I'm bust your windows out. I'm bust Damn. your windows out. <laughs> he had his mom call me. I'm like, huh? Let me go over here. Like, see what's going on. Damn. I was sick. See, that, I got put in that trailer. Yeah, now niggas like that, yeah, that's some soft junk. Like, you gonna break some windows? He some... probably really wasn't gonna do it. He just wanted. But to just it. to say that though, but I mean, I guess that's a tactic though. Hello, like, that it worked. Look, yeah, got my, my stupid ass. Miss <laughs> yeah. Johnson, I'm coming over. <laughs> Cause I didn't turn the head crying. <laughs> Somebody told me they was gonna commit suicide. Oh, uh, that happened Man. to me oh, before. Yeah. That happened to me. Did when you I feel bad about it? Like, don't do it. I did feel bad about it, but it was just like after I found out it was like a joke. Like, why would you even play, <laughs> play like, like that? <laughs> nah, I really don't like you no more. Yeah. Nah, I hate you actually. For <laughs> sure. So, can can the right relationship though build you up or that person up? Like, cause a lot of times relationships is about you know saying usually you find out like damn I didn't know I had this in me until you got with that person. Yeah. Like, like, how how important is like finding the right person for you? Man, it's very important because relationships is hard. Like that's hard work. Sure. Like yeah. y'all both have to equally want it. Y'all both gotta equally put in, you know, work to build as one. Yeah, you might be built as a person, but mm-hmm. when you get with somebody, y'all have to build as one. So it might be feeling like you starting from scratch. Mm-hmm. But I would say, like a lot of men in this generation, they don't like to be told about problems that they mm-hmm. have. They have childhood trauma, like mm-hmm. guys that have been in prison, mm-hmm. guys that had to grow up in the prison, mm-hmm. you know, like, and got out, and they just stuck in their ways, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, and when somebody trying to break them down, that's actually going to do some good for you, mm-hmm. that, they, ain't, they, they ain't trying they to hear ha- They ain't trying to have Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, good answer, yeah that's nice. a fact, though. <laughs> because we talked about being raised on love and survival, like, mm-hmm. that's a real thing. Like, some guys, they still in survival mode. You've been mm-hmm. out, you've been free for five years. <laughs> yeah, like, for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and it's just, like, they don't want they don't want to change they don't want to be soft they don't want to want to need somebody and i mm-hmm. feel like we all need somebody like mm-hmm. you need somebody to be there for you on your worst day like i don't care how much money you got mm-hmm. i know millionaires that hate their life but hell can yeah. buy whatever they want mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. they hate their life like Fast. hell yeah hell yeah. yeah it's it's definitely tough on guys but i feel like to answer the question you can definitely find a partner to build up like you you like you said you can come together as you can be as equipped as you can be but when you find a partner who finds your flaws like who really really know you mm-hmm. that shit matter and it's like you starting from the bottom like even if it's not financially like mentally physically mm-hmm. and it's a good place it's For a sure. good it's a good place to be i love my partner to death hell yeah, hell yeah. and i feel like we both made each other better we both made each other grow we mm-hmm. both like, he was telling me things about myself, you know, even though I, I don't really listen. But <laughs> he told me. I heard you him. feel like it was, a, it was a valid point? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, you know. Yeah. We growing. I, we growing. <laughs> now, I know you got um mini bosses, your know, clothing mm-hmm. line stuff. What is it, what's some stuff y'all want to do outside of the podcast world? Like, I know you got your business and stuff like that, but what's some things y'all want to do outside of the podcast? Um, I'm actually looking to start a group home. Mm-hmm. Uh... I want to get into that. Um, I actually have a YouTube channel mm-hmm. that I really didn't mean to get around to. I was going to tell you about that, yeah, because you say yeah. about doing hair and things like that, like a blog and stuff like that, right? Yeah, like um, skincare. skincare. Skincare, yeah. So, like, I'm I'm working on that. I mean, it's just I need my skin to stop fooling the way it <laughs> had to be. That's, that's a start for me, but... Um, 
just the pandemic and stuff, life just been so weird. Like, Man. on top of the stuff that you going through, like, it's hard. Like, I'm not even going to lie, it's hard. No, for sure. And it's not a it's not a race for me. It's a marathon. Like, so mm-hmm. yeah, I don't yeah. care how long it takes me as long as I get it to where I need it to be. Right. For sure, for sure. Now, I do this. We, we, we going towards the ends versus battle. I'll give you all two categories. Tell me which one win. Okay, so, for instance, soul food versus seafood. Soul food. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with soul food. All right, in person game versus DM game. In person. In person. All right, summertime gear versus wintertime gear. Summertime. Summertime. Oh, too wintertime. You get that drip. But I know what y'all y'all like. I know what y'all like. To do. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas versus Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm. You got kids, so you probably say Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't really celebrate holidays. Oh, you don't. All right. You ain't Jehovah's Witness now, are you? Nah. Okay, not <laughs> uh, Tall guys versus short guys. Tall. Tall. It's hard for us tall dudes. <laughs> 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 Payroll versus Peasy. Mm. I'm going to go with Peasy. Depending on the vibe. <laughs> Depending on the vibe I want. Do I want east side vibes? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dog. All right. Uh, breaking the bad versus men that were for game. Made breaking the machine. I said breaking the bed, didn't I? Oh, yeah, damn. breaking the machine versus me and Dollar for game. Depending on the vibe, I won't. Yeah, but I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with breaking the machine. Me too. Yeah. Right. Gilly versus Wallow. 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 Yeah, he do. Nah, no, I ain't gonna lie. I'm going with Gilly. Gilly. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Gilly type. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. I'm Wallow. I'm up at five in the morning. I'm Wallow on my podcast. <laughs> like, you know, uh, Steve Harvey versus whoever. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Short hair versus long. 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 All right, all right. Uh, Benny Hollins versus uh, Ichiban. Benny. Benny Hollins. It's not a good mother dog. <laughs> Ichiban be good. Like Ichiban. I went there. It's all about my house, girl. You know me just trying. <laughs> all I seen was fucking steakhouse. Uh, I mean, yeah. hibachi grill or something. And yeah. I'm like, fuck it. it y'all got garlic butter? See, I, I hate that. Damn it. That's going to be reeking. My, my, my wife but it be good. Goddamn, three bowls of garlic <laughs> butter. Like, dog, you smell like garlic forever, dog. Like, it be good. Man. All right, top three. I'll give you a category. Give me your top three. Top three childhood crushes besides Bow Wow. I'm gonna go with you said childhood crushes. Yeah. Well, um, we know Bow Wow, so give me the other two. Um, Omarion <laughs> and Classic. Um, Lil Fizz. Oh, he was the better. <laughs> but, <laughs> Lil Fizz. Uh, uh, damn. I know it was somebody. Oh, oh Usher. It was Usher. <laughs> so it you got a, Usher, Marion, Bow Wow. Yeah. Bow Wow, Lil Fizz. <laughs> I was just overly obsessed with Bow Wow. Like, I really was. I didn't see nobody else. That's yeah. why I can't think. <laughs> so I can't think. Um, who was other people around that time? I really didn't listen to nobody else. Uh, Man. That's it. Pretty Ricky. B- oh, yeah. Pretty Ricky. <laughs> that's my whole group. You was in love with all of them? Spectacular. It was, oh, spectacular. Man, that's funny. You said Pretty Ricky. <laughs> all right. Top three moments in life. Having my sons. I'm glad you said that because people be having kids that don't even mention it. Like, yeah, that time I had, you know, God, God, jail. Yeah, having my kids, getting married, um, living out of state. Where was you? Where was you living? I was in Arizona. Okay. Hi. Hey, what made you come back? Um. Life. Look, <laughs> <laughs> shit happens. Yeah, I was, um, saying, I was yeah, in Texas. I was, was in Texas. Life. It was life. Uh, we. Didn't, I don't have no family out there, so I. I was pregnant. Mm. Me and my husband. We couldn't do nothing without my other son. Like For we sure. couldn't date without. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So then I was about to have a newborn. I'm definitely not putting you in daycare. You yeah. know when you can't talk. For so. sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, come back I, where the grandmas was at. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, if it's all, you know, I was in Texas, I know the same thing. I'm like, damn, I gotta leave some warm weather. What made you come back? I was with a chicken head, dumb little chick, man. Uh, well, you know, we went down there. I should. I, you I already should, heard him say how he's living in his twenties. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was. I went down there. I should have went down there. At Dolo went down there in, rela- in relationship. Should listen to this nigga. Didn't work. Nah, so I had to come back. My older brother like, nigga, y'all can't come back to my house. I'm like, damn. <laughs> So, came back to De- Detroit, my Hyundai Sonata, with all my life in that boy. Okay. I know that. <laughs> and had to make and thug it out for like six months, and shit got together. Period. Yeah, my, I'm going back. Yeah. Me and Marley talked about it, but I'll probably wait till after my son graduate. He, he in ninth grade, so. Oh, okay. So, once he, I ain't going to move him like, right in the, you know what I'm saying, at the end of his whole school run. Mm-hmm. But once he graduates, we might dip. Depends on what podcast it though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's your top three? Mm-hmm. I have three things that I want to do. 
Okay, go ahead, man. Give me that. Change it up. I want to skydive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, I do too. Yeah, I feel like if you can do that, you really fearless. Yeah. Um, jumping off a plane sounds very crazy, yeah. but that sounds so like me. But um, <laughs> um, I would like oh. Graduating, gonna be a, a real top moment for me. Oh, yeah, it's gonna happen. We're gonna gradu- graduate, and celebrate. Real talk, making it. Yeah. Hey. It's gonna be a top moment for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Speak it, speak it, shit, man. It's so speak on it. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me your top three movies. Hangover. Yeah. All about the Benjamins. <laughs> Classics. Bad Boys. Okay, because Bad Boys was number one on mine, but man. it's Bad Boys 2, though, actually. So. Yeah, I like Bad Boys 2. Bad better. Boys 2. Um. Friday, mm-hmm. and uh, why did I get married? Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Top three, uh, top three foods. Um, chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what else? Damn, I forgot to take the chicken, chicken. out. Chicken. Lasa- <laughs> I thought about that. <laughs> Lasagna. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a great, great, great choice. And Caesar salad. Okay, hmm. what about you? My top three would be roast. And potatoes. Oh hell yeah! Love me some turkey chops. Mm-hmm. Damn. And I love me some salmon. Oh, I hate man. My wife makes so much goddamn salmon. <laughs> Damn, she got salmon this, salmon that. Like she even make ways to create me. different salmon. <laughs> My God. Ha- well, make sure she try the salmon bites. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we that- put she put the salmon in shells, pasta shells, like over. <laughs> My God, oh, yeah, it was good, but I was tired of it. Tired of <laughs> Ty salmon. Give me your top three episodes. Our our episode? Episode? Mm-hmm. Spiritual healing. Who's on the episode? Her name Kayla. Kayla. Okay. Um, 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 the one we had with Rudy and AJ was funny as hell. Listen. Uh, what, what was we talking about? Oh, um, Smashing the Homies. Smashing the Homies. <laughs> Smashing the Homies um, was definitely one of my favorites. Crazy versus delusional. Crazy versus delusional was a great one too. <laughs> smashing homies. Yeah. Cause um, they be out here smashing homies. Yes. Um and uncomfortable. Discipline men. Oh yeah, that one. Now do, do you um do you be afraid to talk about certain things since you're in a relationship? No. Okay. Yeah. I've always did you what I think wanted. I'm the one in the relationship. Yeah, because <laughs> I be, I'll be like, damn, should I say that? Well, she don't watch it yeah. anyway. Uh, <laughs> it was, it was back no. in the day before she was around. No, but I feel like on a podcast, you could be whoever you want to be. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. For sure. You got to understand. All it. the people that really made it, it'd be illusions. They'd be making it. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Most of them marry and stuff. They'd be still talking about they. The um, past, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, okay to talk about the past. Yeah, it's just the past, yeah. man. You no know, shit. It was just Keisha back then. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We always end everything off on a drunk moment or a hot moment. A funny story when y'all was one or both. Okay. I know you got one. <laughs> I was, okay, and it's so crazy because last night I, I just told him, I'm like, well, every time I see you, I black out. I don't Damn. understand. Okay, so, boom. I'm drunk as hell, y'all. I got my friend, she told huh, me. What you I'm, drinking, though? Everything. Oh, That's shit. a problem. I don't remember. I was drinking Patron 1942. And then Damn, I I'm got missing. this thing to where I'm like, liquor is liquor, just drink it. Yeah. So I don't really be caring if it's dark or light. So mm-hmm. I be doing both in one night. It's crazy. I don't know who I think I am. But, yeah, I'm blasted. And my cousin <laughs> tell me, you know, you not driving home. I said, okay, cool. She was like, we going to go to the room. We go to the room, y'all. And I forget that I parked my car in a structure, mm. so I'm just walking around downtown. Yeah. <laughs> I am just walking around. Catching the vibe. Drunk as hell. Dr- no, I'm looking for my car. Yeah. I'm looking for my car. <laughs> y'all, I get into the car with a complete stranger. <laughs> He's walking. <laughs> he sees me walking around. He says, are you are you okay? I'm an Uber driver. Mm-hmm. Thank God he wasn't no serial killer. I'm about to say, yeah, because you got yeah. that boy. Because I didn't look, I didn't book an Uber or nothing. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, I just get in the car. And I what? tell him where to take me. Yeah. 
Next day, <laughs> duh. <laughs> Next day, I had to have somebody take me to my car that I thought I lost. Like it was so man. That huh, was you, the wildest shit. Out of your here. bike could have been chopped up. You feel yeah. me? Like or when I was telling people the next day, I duh. just could not believe that no, this you, is what really no, happened. You had got on your side for good. Yeah, you I, got, yeah. For real, yeah. Cause, Cause what? Cause you were like, oh shoot, she. My I was so green. The fact to just <laughs> get, like literally, so anybody could have did it. Like anybody no. literally could have rolled down. They would have said, do yeah. you? need a ride Damn. and I would I was so drunk I just got in the car like yeah I'm glad was, I'm glad I'm, you, yeah. I'm so glad I made it cause he would be like God you answer my prayers <laughs> <laughs> this girl walking around here drunk drunk is it like yeah that was the wild no I ain't gonna lie I had a story like that though um, it, she wasn't drunk but I remember I was riding down Warren and I saw this lady and her kid waiting for the bus and the rain was pouring down like crazy I'm talking about crazy and I turned around like, listen, I know I'm a stranger. I see y'all out here. Y'all look, y'all look bad. Like, y'all need a ride. How far y'all going? She's like, I'm just going down, down the way. I took her there. She got out, and that was it. Oh, that was right. Cause they're like, they was getting hit with that <laughs> power. It was rain or like, I I'm felt good. bad. I'm like, damn, she got her little kid right there though. Mm-hmm. Like, hey man, I'm like, hey, I'm Bashad. Hey, y'all need a ride. Y'all look like it's gonna be a while. And I just took him. That was, that was so Thank nice. God it wasn't that far because I had my yeah, gas. My shit was far <laughs> as hell. <laughs> my shit was far yeah, as hell. Yeah, you like, lucky though. I was just. Downtown know, too? Was, man. That was some wild shit, man. Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. What about you, Adore? Um, I can't imagine a door getting wild. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like so just like chill, laid back. No, I, it's got to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was drinking these homemade lemon drops one of my friends had made. She had like got the recipe from Jay Alexander so we went and got the absolute like shit we should have never been drinking mm-hmm. and like I completely blacked out like drove home and woke up on the floor mm. and like I had like threw up and like she was laying in that I was just laying I was just like mm. but I had gotten to like a whole argument with somebody on Twitter <laughs> like <laughs> like doing this time this whole I didn't know so I woke up the next day yeah. but I just was like wow but she was <laughs> she was bothering me first yeah. and I like got tired of her bothering me so I clapped back but man you so, know they be trying to cyber bully me cause they feel like I'm not gonna say nothing yeah 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 so you just laying in throw up just messed just up <laughs> just looking dumb and man. I called my friend. She's like, I'm good. I mean, I woke up drunk of runners. I'm good. I'm like, no, I'm not. I was hung over the whole day. Like, no, that'd be, that'd be terrible. Like, like mm-hmm. I said, I didn't tell the story many times, but I woke up in my mom's house butt naked. I don't know I don't know why I'm at my mom's crib because I got my own crib. I don't know why I got her phone because I got my own phone. But I'm butt naked on her on her couch just with her phone. I woke up like, what the fuck happened? Oh, yeah, man? you was dope. Them those thoughts fo- to yourself, though. I yeah. ain't going to lie. Like, how did I do this? I had how those four locos. Oh, yes. And then, it was just, and, and then we had this liquor called 360. So and I'm four like, locos alone, like some shit. four locos alone did it. I oh got some God. stories with the four locos. God damn! I it? ain't never had a four loco. <laughs> Baby, I, I wanted one. I loco. wanted one so bad, and I was not 21. I remember who bought it for me and everything. I woke up on the porch, and my uncle was like, "God <laughs> damn it, Artie, get up!" Like, yeah. I was on the porch. Yeah, that four loco put you on your ass. That's funny. For my head bleeding a little bit, all that type of stuff. Yeah, like. and I was on the porch, laid out like I was in the bed. Man, but no, uh, I, I appreciate y'all coming on the show. You know what I'm saying? Y'all Thank came on time. Thank you for We appreciate you. For sure, for sure. Where can people follow y'all? Y'all individual? Y'all, y'all um, page together? All that good stuff. For me, just follow the podcast page. Mm. <laughs> RT, adore the letter N, Daisy. That's on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. All uh, major platforms. Okay, and when's season three coming? April. Okay. No, nah, season three is coming when we get a thousand subscribers. Oh, we yeah, need we, a, we changed it. Okay. Yeah. We need yeah. a thousand subscribers. So yeah. if you're watching this, please go subscribe. It'd be hard getting those YouTube, YouTube subscribers. It's yeah. Hard. You gotta promote. You gotta promote it. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. You gotta tell them. I followed y'all podcast page. I don't think y'all follow back. I follow you. Yeah, <laughs> we got, we got I follow back. I be watch. I I realize that I be watching a lot of my stuff on my own. Yeah, 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 po- sure. On my own YouTube. Yeah, come so. on, damn. I follow their podcast page. They should have followed back. Okay, we, got you. <laughs> we, got you. we definitely got you. We definitely follow I, everybody. Yeah, that we work I told Q. For sure. I give people you know, forty eight hours to judge. Like, you know yeah, what? Ah, damn. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah. we got you. It Don't wasn't no healing. No, I, 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 I was playing with y'all. I'm playing with y'all. But no, uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all coming on the show. You know, what I'm saying good conversations. What's some last? Motivational words you want to leave people with? This year, if you feel like you want to do it, just do it. Don't second guess yourself. Just do it. Just do it and go hard when you do it. You got to be consistent in whatever you do. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Don't let nobody scare you out your dreams. Um, Don't don't let nobody put their fear on you. Mm -hmm. Like, just do it. Yeah, and and, and don't get drunk and go on Ubers that you (laughs) don't 
Yeah, you know baby, saying? don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Y'all might not have an angel like me. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Shout out to everybody. Episode 106, Voice of Detroit. Peace.